Well, All right, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's Friday and we are talking sport as well. One of Mercy's favorite day of the week. Mercy, mercy, mercy I, I me. Don't, I, don't, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know why you think that it's... Okay, favorite day of the week, yes. Yes, yes it is. That's because I was born on a Friday and that's it. And Friday just feels like... Uh, I don't know the feeling, but we, we just need to move on to the next topic this morning. Yes, we we'll just be having an update. What's going on with the UEFA Champions League? I mean, who stands a chance of winning uh, the trophy or taking the trophy? We do have a sports journalist who joins the conversation this morning. Monday Thomas, it's good to have you join us. Good morning. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you this morning. It's quite fantastic what is happening in the Europe Champions League, and I can't wait to get on with it. So bring us up to speed. I mean, what is, what's going on right now? And, and uh, looking at the clubs that are still standing, you have Man run. City, Liverpool, among others. Uh, who do you think stands a chance of getting uh, the trophy? Well, believe me or not, I think this is the perfect ball for the semi-final as the road to Paris continues. Uh, we have Manchester City, Liverpool, Real Madrid, and as well as Villarreal. I'd like to start with the list. Uh, with all due respect to all the Yellow Submarine fans all over the world, I'd like to start, I'd like to tell them as the list. Although they are the most underrated, but I think they're also the most devastating. They've got a European specialist as a coach. Unai Emery, fantastic manager, won the Europa League back-to-back. He qualified Arsenal to the Europa, uh, the Europa League in 2019. Unfortunately, he lost. And last uh, last year, he won uh, Villarreal the first major title, which is the Europa League against uh, Manchester United in the final, where, of course, uh, it ended in penalties. So Villarreal, we've seen them do great things against... Uh, Juventus right there at the Turin Stadium, and also we saw what it did at the Allianz Arena. They might be the most underrated, but I want to advise team to try to overrate them a little bit because uh, when they have a specialist as a, like Unai Emery, a lot is meant to happen. Let's move to Liverpool, which is uh, an incredible team so far this season. We saw that 3-3 draw against uh, Benfica, and uh, I'm very sure Jurgen Klopp came out to apologize for starting, uh, for having set changes uh, from the team that uh, we saw in that mega title shipper in the English Premier League. They've got informed players, Mohamed Salah in Liverpool. Everyone is scoring. Luis Diaz, Sadio Mane, and as well as Mohamed Salah. They are on hand to win their seventh UEFA Champions League title. They've already won six, and they are perfectly poised to take on uh, Villarreal. For Real Madrid, of course, it goes without saying the most successful side. They've got Karim Benzema and Vinicius Jr., who is doing the business for them. They've got Carlo Ancelotti as well. So I think it's, it's going to be an incredible uh, football on the 26th and on the 27th of May when we talk about the semifinals. But let's talk about Manchester City. In my word, they are the UEFA Champions League desperate. Pep Guardiola has spent over 1.5 million, forgive me, over 1.5 billion pounds to hand Manchester City the UEFA Champions League. We saw that embarrassing uh, performance some uh, months ago in Porto where he lost to Chelsea in the 2021 UEFA Champions League final. So he's desperate. He wants to win it at all costs. But of course, I'm going for Liverpool because to win a title, to win games, you need to have a strong defense and you need to have a strong attack as well. Liverpool have an unbridgeable defense and a very devastating forward. So, like I said, Liverpool, everyone is scoring. Mo Salah can score. Sadio Mane can score. Luis Diaz can score. Diogo Jota can score. Bobby Firmino can score. In the back, they've got Virgil. And you know for certain that he's one of the best. So, I, I'm tipping Liverpool to win their, their seventh UEFA Champions League title. And they're going to do this. So, you don't, this you, don't, you don't think that Manchester City uh, can match the energy of Liverpool uh, to win the UEFA Champions trophy? They can't match it. We, we saw what happened to Manchester City some nights ago in, uh, in Spain at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium where Atletico Madrid started playing. They went to hiding. They defended for the first time I saw Pep Guardiola defend. So that means that team can be beaten anytime with a resident team. And of course, Liverpool have gotten what it takes to beat any team in this semifinals and of course make it to the finals and they'll certainly clinch it in my opinion. Thank you so All much. Right. 
Uh, Monday, Thomas, for being part of the show this morning. We do appreciate your thoughts and uh, we look forward to having more of you uh, share uh, great ideas and thoughts as regards uh, football and sporting world. Thank you so much for having me. Once again, it was a pleasure to have you host me. Let's uh, look forward to doing this again. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Monday, Thomas. It's as though there is a Liverpool-Manchester City final, which will be inevitable. All right, we'll see how uh, all of that uh, plays out. But that's the size of the show for today, this uh, good Friday morning. We trust you would have yourself a wonderful holiday. Friday, Monday uh, have been declared public holidays. My name is Justin Akadonye. And I am Messia Boko. But if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's all right to follow us on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram and do subscribe to our YouTube channel What Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Many thanks for watching. Have a great day.